Okay, so now that Amazon came out with its own cloud cam, I'm curious to see how it works together with uh, my video enabled devices, my Fire TV and uh, my um, Echo Show that I just installed in my kitchen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at it, install it and see how it, um, it works together with uh, my uh, Echo devices. So stay tuned. A few months ago, I got myself into installing uh, video cameras in a couple of spots around in my house primarily to keep an eye on my dog when i'm not around in the house uh, when i'm at work or traveling with so many options nowadays out there for uh, video cameras it could prove a little bit difficult to find uh, the right option however following my own rule of sticking to one platform as much as i can I decided to go and uh, purchase a couple of Nest cameras. So if you're interested to see uh, my review on the cameras and uh, the process of installing them and how they look, you can take a look at to my other video that I made a few months ago. The Nest webcams I think are a great option, I've never had a problem with them, I like their quality and I like uh, how I can look at um, my video feeds on the Nest um, app together with my Nest Protect and my Nest uh, thermostat. However, I always uh, would have liked to have this integrated all somehow um, into my either uh, SmartThings Hub environment or even better with my Amazon Echo. The only bad thing or disadvantage that I could say the Nest uh, cameras had was um, that they are quite expensive. I would have bought and installed a few more cameras in my house if uh, the price had been a little bit lower. Right now I think Amazon just closed the circle for me in terms of uh, video cameras because um, it just uh, released not so long ago its own cloud uh, webcam. Right now I think it uh, came out uh, at 120 US dollars but right now I think mm, you can find them for 99 US or um, I don't know if that was just a Black Friday um, deal, but they were offering also before Black Friday started uh, in sets of uh, you could get uh, two cameras for $200 or three cameras for 280 or something. And I think it's a very good alternative option to the Nest cameras. So um, on the downside of that would be that um, I would have to have two different apps to look at uh, my Nest cameras and my uh, Amazon webcams. So I was kind of uh, resigned to that fact, but um, incredibly enough, Amazon also made it available now that you can take a look at your video feed from Nest cameras directly on your Echo Show or your Fire TV. So I think that's awesome when I found out about that. I had read that uh, the compatibility was going to come soon, but um, funny enough, either I missed it or Amazon never really uh, announced it. I, I, I missed the part where they announced that it was now possible to see your video feed on the Fire TV or the Echo Show for your Nest cameras. But uh, the other day as I was installing my new cloud cam from uh, Amazon, I discovered that now it's possible to do this. So I was really excited. And uh, now I can see all my cameras um, either on my Fire TV or on my new Echo Show that I will show you also a little bit later. And I thought it would be good to make a little video about this because it's not quite straightforward to add them into your um, Amazon system. It could You could think that it's uh, quite straightforward but it wasn't. At first I installed uh, my Amazon uh, Cloud Cam and uh, first of all you need um, a separate app. It's not running out of the Alexa app. So you need to get uh, the separate uh, Cloud Cam app uh, from 
the App Store. And then um, the installation process is really straightforward. You just uh, plug in the camera. It will guide you through um, in the Cloud Cam app to uh, log in with your credentials to Amazon. It will look for your camera, finds it and adds it to your uh, uh, Wi-Fi network. So that part is uh, not so hard. But then after that, um, I thought it was um, a kind of an automatic process that you would be able to see your video feed on your Echo Show or your Fire TV. And for some reason, it was not working. And uh, that uh, troubled me for a few minutes. But then after playing around and uh, reading a little bit, I found out uh, what you really need to do. The first step is uh, I'm going to go through also, I have a couple of Nest cameras, one on my backyard and one for my uh, living room upper level, which are the areas that worry me more when I'm not around and I like to take a look at uh, what, where my dog is uh, hanging out in the house. I also wanted to add those uh, in, uh, to be able to see them on my Fire TV or my uh, Echo Show. Uh, it's interesting that uh, you need to go to look for a new Nest skill. Um, it's important to mention this because I thought uh, my account was already linked to Nest because I already have my thermostat. So I thought that any new products that would come out, you wouldn't have to um, relink your account to Nest. So for example, if Amazon was gonna make available um, the possibility to check your video feed on the Amazon products that you wouldn't have to link your account anymore because you already have done it. Well, uh, I just came to realize that you do need to do that because there is a separate skill just for the Nest cameras. So you have to go to the your Alexa app and then you go to your skills and in here you search for Nest. So now you will see that uh, there are two skills, the Nest thermostat and the Nest camera. So you go to the Nest camera and I already have done it, but uh, here you just uh, link your account again from uh, Nest to the um, Nest skill. And once you do that, you will be all set uh, on the Alexa app in regards to having it available for uh, discovery. So once I did this, I was trying to take a look at my video feeds on my Echo Show or on my Fire TV. It was still not working I, and I was wondering what the problem was. So now the problem is that um, you have to go and uh, discover your devices. I uh, did this and my cameras appeared on my devices list like here you can see that now i'm showing the backyard camera and then if i scroll down i have also my front door which is uh, my cloud cam from amazon the one on top here backyard is from nest um, the front door is from CloudCam. This, uh, when you go through the installation process on the CloudCam itself, um, it uh, adds it to your Amazon account, but still you need to discover your devices. So it's shown on your device list, and later on it works when you um, want to see your video feed on your devices. So that's my front door. And then here I have my upper level um my upper level video camera it's right here so now i have all my cameras remember you have to discover your devices and once they are listed on your device list then you are ready to use them we have looked now what we have to do inside the amazon alexa app in order to register our cameras into our system so that we are able to use them i'm just going to go through quickly um, I went through the Nest uh, uh, setup, how the Nest cameras look in the Nest app, and uh, but now I'm gonna go through the Amazon Cloud Cam app, which is right here, 
and um, this is the app you download it and then you plug in your camera open the app enter your amazon credentials it will guide you through it's really straightforward to add it so once you do have it it will record for free up to one day of activity in your camera which is better than the nest you don't get any free storage with the nest you have to subscribe to a paid uh, subscription service for uh, a monthly service in order to see some uh, past activity on your camera i think this is a nice uh, gesture from amazon that at least you get one day for free on past activity on your camera if activity is detected it will save a little clip of when activity was detected so uh, that's a cool feature the app itself looks uh, very similar to the, uh, how the nest camera uh, looks and uh, i'm just gonna get out of it it's so funny how i'm in the lower level of my house my camera is in the upper level and it's still picking up my audio and it's just echoing as i open the camera so uh, the app itself is uh, really nice um, it's a nice way like i said it's too bad that if i want to take a look at my front or i have to do it on my amazon cloud cam and if i want to look at my backyard i have to come and look at my nest app um, i would have liked that uh, the cloud cam had come out um, to the market a lot earlier so that if i had known that as much as i like the nest cameras i would have gotten all uh, cloud cams from amazon like i said to maintain to just one platform and also to be able to look at all my cameras on one spot and not having to look at different apps to uh, check out the video feed but the good thing is that when i'm at home uh, i just need to go to my fire tv and i can check all three cameras and also if i'm in the kitchen where my uh, echo show is i can uh, look at the video feed uh, there as well if i need to so uh, this is what you have to do you need uh, in summary to um, download the cloud cam app from um, amazon for your cloud cam you need to download the nest um, webcam skill on uh, the skill uh, section on your alexa app and uh, you have to link your account uh, again and uh, you have to discover your devices and once you do that you are able to take a look at your uh, video feeds on your amazon devices around in your house and i have to say that it's pretty cool now i'm going to show you how they look in the different devices that i have around in my house so right now here i'm in my bedroom and uh, this is my main tv and i'm just gonna uh, take a look at my different cameras alexa tell harmony to start fire tv Alexa, go home. Alexa, show me my backyard camera on my Fire TV. A few things share that name. Which one did you want? Backyard camera. Okay. So here I'm looking at my backyard camera on uh, my Fire TV, on my main TV. This is uh, really cool. Alexa, show me my upper level camera. Okay. So now here I'm looking at my video feed from my living room and as you will be able to see the video feed from the cloud cam looks just as good as the Nest Cam video image does. So Alexa show me my front door camera. Okay. Alexa, go home. So the only thing is that uh, 
the audio from the cloud cam is very sensitive so it picks up a lot of audio and right now the audio from my camera it's just uh it's picking ambient noise and it's really loud it's really sensitive the audio from the amazon cloud cam so i'm just gonna sh go and show you how it looks on my echo show that i have in my kitchen so right now here this is my new echo show i will make a separate video to just talk a little bit about it later but here i have my echo show alexa show me my backyard camera a few things share that name which one did you want? Backyard camera. Okay. So here I'm looking at my backyard feed from my Echo Show in the kitchen, which is pretty cool. Alexa, show me the upper level camera. Okay. So that is my uh, living room. Alexa, show me my front door. Okay. So that's it. Alexa, cancel. Alexa, go home. So that's it. That was my three cameras showing on my Fire TV and on my Echo Show here in the kitchen, which um, I think it's awesome. Now Amazon has closed the circle in terms of uh, web cameras. Now it's possible to look at all your cameras in one place. Well, except if you are away from your house, uh, there is no other option. If you have different brands, you're still gonna have to use different apps but um that's the only thing that i'm sorry that uh, amazon didn't come up with the webcams earlier because i would have bought them uh, all from amazon even though i have nothing bad to say about the nest cameras they're really great but with the cloud cam with the more accessible uh, price uh, i think it's a nice alternative to the nest cameras and uh, any other indoor cameras out there the quality is really good it's a uh, full hd um, 1080 uh, hd so it's uh, really good um, I don't have a problem with it. It's also it looks really good at night as well. So I really recommend the camera. It's uh, it um, behaves pretty up at par with uh, the Nest cameras. So um, that's uh, what I wanted to say about uh, the cameras that I just got uh, recently. Um, how I integrated it with my previous Nest cameras. Again, if you are interested in taking a look at uh, how the Nest cameras um, are configured and how they look in the Nest app, take a look at my older video that I uh, made a few months ago. And I uh, hope that helped you. So uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys in some other video. Bye.